Hello, this is Michelle Knight and I'm back. My voice is still a bit dodgy, but I'm here to give you my all this week. And what a week. There's magic, there's mayhem, there's a bit of push and pull me. Here's your weekly astrology. Hi, gorgeous Sagittarius, how are you doing? This week it starts off with an opposition between the sun in your relationship zone and Jupiter, the lord of good fortune and your leader in your sign. So you're feeling super confident when it comes to relationships and partnerships and you're galloping along going, yeah, I feel the positive vibes, singing a happy little tune to yourself. Do bear in mind that there is a mutable grand cross and within this, you're going to have to be very responsible for your choices, your choices to do with your career and your relationships. It may be that you've been ducking and diving or not being truly responsible. I don't blame you. It's up to you. But at the end of the day, this mutable Grand Cross is shaking things up and saying, right, you've got to do the right thing. You've got to, you know, be true to what you've said in both those areas, both in career and with partners. You're sizzling hot, sexy, sensual and intense this week. Mars is in a very uh, a position where you, you, you're powerful to the core of your being. It can also make you a bit vengeful. Do not do that. No vengeance, please. It can also make you uh, want to sleep with someone that you know you probably shouldn't sleep with for whatever reason. You know, I'm not judging. It's even your own inner voice is saying, oh, don't do it. And then you're like, mm, maybe I will. And there's, you know, a lot of naughtiness around you this week. Um, and also, it's just like you need to be clear about what's going on in your home. There may be some problem and you're ignoring it and the problem is coming to the surface, and then you don't know where you stand in the problem because you're not dealing with things. Uh, focus on that. Let's see what the tarot has to say for you, uh, to you, Sagittarius. This week for Sagittarius. Yeah, you're feeling like, rah, I'm going in and I'm waving my wand of truth. In this case, it's a sword. Be careful with your words. Make sure that you speak with kindness. It's so important. The words we say to other people have such an ongoing effect. And, and you know, I, I'm guilty of forgetting that sometimes. I have sun in the ninth and Mars in the ninth. But it's like, you know, listen to your words and how they may impact other people. Otherwise, there may be an argument that there's no coming back from. Or you may feel that someone's had a go at you and you're going through like, whoa, where did that come from? Uh, and it, it's quite difficult for you. Do you know what? Trust your intuition. You are more powerful than whatever situation comes up that makes you feel like, oh, you know, somebody's sword of truth was a little bit mean or a bit too direct. You're the high priestess, baby. You got it going on. You are power personified. You are intuition personified. Use that this week and you could, ha, huh, use it and you got the world there. I'm not even going to pull another card. I'm so tempted to pull another card, but you got the world, <laughs> shall I? You got the whole world there for you when you use your intuition. It can't go wrong. In fact, I, I'm going to pull a card. Doesn't matter if it's, if, if it's, not even as good as no it's good look at that the world is there for you and you are galloping towards your dreams when you let go uh, uh, particularly of somebody that's too cruel and harsh to you anyway i send you so much love have a fabulous week what are you speak to you soon